Hey guys and gals, A here. Welcome to another episode of EDC. So today we are talking pouches. Uh, this is a zero fuel pouch and I am super excited to tell you guys about it and my thoughts on it. And this video has definitely been a long time coming. So you wanna know what pouch I'm gonna talk about and my thoughts on it? Come on back because here we go. All right, guys and gals. So I had mentioned that I had a new uh, pouch. I probably mentioned it when I got it and then other videos got done and other things got done and you guys would ask for it randomly and uh, I kept saying I needed to do it, I need to get the video done and then uh, most recently every day Evan asked and I was like yep let's get it done, let's do this video. So you guys probably have seen uh, the video on my Zero Feud soft wallet and now this thing is basically empty right now, I think it's, it's housing a couple zip ties and a tape measure. But um, this thing was built out as kind of a small pocket sized uh, fix it kit. And um, it's currently waiting on whatever it will be next. But uh, this pouch is incredible. And so when Zero Feud had a drop of uh, new pouches, I snagged one up. And that is the Zero Feud Cup. And so uh, I got it in the blue variation. I believe when it initially dropped, it was blue and red. And I snagged the blue one. And this is the uh, smaller size, which is actually identical to this size. So they are, um, as you can tell, they, they indeed are, might be a little easier on the blue side. They are the, the same size. Uh, they are three inches this direction by four and a half. And uh, they are they are definitely different. This one has a uh, small Velcro field, about about half of it or slightly more is Velcro on the front, and then you have the zipper opening, and you kind of drop items into here. Excellent wallet. Uh, you, if you're carrying cards and a little bit of cash, you can put them in there, pull them out when you need them. It has two pull tabs on the side, and uh, their little logo right here, and then a smooth back. So that is the Zero Feud Soft Wallet. Simple, straightforward, um, and it does its job. It holds items in there. So this one is a, uh, it's a clamshell open. So you can see the blue here, that is the only part that doesn't open. So it unzips uh, all the way around and you open it up like a book. And uh, this one gives you a full Velcro field. And I have some little SpongeBob uh, uh, ranger eyes on the front and then the flip side of that I don't know if it's necessarily the back I refer to it as the back but that is this uh, blue hexagon pattern honeycomb pattern and it has a slip pocket now I don't have anything in there um, just because I have uh, I didn't have a lot of room to get many items and uh, if you put something in here that doesn't have a pocket clip or that isn't you know like super uh, flat uh, it's likely to fall out because this is a very slick material So I don't have anything in there, but you definitely could put something in there And then I just added a little carabiner onto the zipper pull tab that way I could clip it onto something or hang it So uh, let's open this puppy up and see what we got in here So like I said, it fully opens around and you open it up like that and These are the items that I have in here uh, the uh, side over here is my knife side and the side over here is like the little boo-boo kit side to fix me up if these damage me. <laughs> kidding, kidding. I don't get cut by knives. Not very, very rarely. Um, but this is just kind of, I set it up with two knives, a small knife and a large knife, which is fairly standard for me to use. And then I did make the other side a little boo-boo kit. But so in here, I have a little, uh, this is a the James brand, and I'm drawing a blank on the model of this. I will put it down below, but it is a uh, non-locking little slip joint here. Has the walk and talk. Uh, very nice blade, fits in the hand well. Now it is, it is like a three finger, I can kind of get four fingers around there. But that pinky doesn't have a lot to purchase on. 
So I imagine if you have a larger hand, you probably are gonna get a three finger grip on this. Um, but something of this size, you're not really choking down and cranking on it, especially a non-locking blade. So that shouldn't be a problem. Excellent for cutting tape. No one's gonna look at you twice for using a knife of this size. And I will be doing a review of this knife soon, but excellent little knife and it matches the high-vis interior. And so on this side, we have, there's a little crease right here. So you have a pocket here and a pocket here. And so this knife actually fits like it was made right there in that pocket. And because it's on the blue background instead of the orange, that thing pops. And then in the back, that is one, one pocket, that is not two, that is one pocket back there. And inside of here, I have another, the James brand knife. <clears throat> Again, I'm drawing a blank on which one, but non-locking blade here. Looks super, super cool. And uh, the, um, the handle has the cutout right here. And that is where you would, you know, stick your finger in the uh, notch in the blade to open it. But that is an excellent, like it's so rounded and smooth here excellent point for one of your fingers to just kind of grip into and get a hold of and again non-locking blades so you're not gonna you know crank down on this and really you know um, get into something but excellent for most tasks you would use and uh, just a really really sleek cool looking blade right here um, but both of those fit in on that side piece of cake not a problem at all and I like that the back pocket is open on this side while that front pocket has the uh, indention there to separate items. It lets these two knives, even though this knife is in a full pocket that it could go anywhere, because this one is locked in where it is, it actually holds this one where it is. Now on the other side, we just have one pocket on the front and up here I have just a pair of tweezers, no big deal, they fit wonderfully right there. And then next to them, I have an assortment of band-aids in different sizes. And then in the back, there's also one large pocket. And back there, I have two wet ones. So I can clean up, you know, whatever's needed, myself or, or my little two-year-old. But that all fits perfectly in here. And I have room for more. Like, I do not have this thing packed out by any way, shape, or form. Um, now, the normal way I pack these out is as a ready to go EDC kit. So I would normally have in here a knife, a flashlight, a multi-tool, probably a smaller multi-tool because of the size of the pouch. And then I would try to have a, a pin in here. And then once I get those four items, I would add whatever else I could fit. Um, I thought about doing that, but you guys have seen that from me so many times. Having said that, this will perfectly hold the uh, Rovivon Aurora A1, this fits in here like a dream. Again, kind of like it was made for it. Fits perfectly in that little sleeve. Um, small multi-tools uh, of the uh, SOG Power Pint fit in here wonderfully. Um, like it, it holds a wide variety of items and would make an excellent excellent ready to go EDC kit and you could probably keep your whole EDC here and then drop this into your pocket like that would work really really well um, and then uh, you could also run this if you wanted to as a wallet you could definitely have cards on this side and you could even separate them since there are two pockets here so you could have your cards on this side maybe even a card or something or cash in the back here and then right up here in these two pockets might give you the ability to carry a, a pen and a knife or a knife and a flashlight or any variation of that. And you also have a little, little area on the back to put one of those items as well. So you could have your wallet and a few key EDC items with you all in one. Excellent for that as well. Uh, many, many uses for the CUP. I am super impressed and I don't know how long they're gonna be there, but I just checked the website and right now you can get their blims, their blemishes of the CUP, buy one, get one free. That is a killer deal, a deal. I like it, I might be buying two. And they now have multiple sizes of this, so I believe. So you don't have to get just the small size here. I believe you can get a larger size. Um, so I will be looking at that. The write-up on it said, 
the blooms are not noticeable to the naked eye. If they pointed it out to you, you would know what is wrong, but without them pointing it out, you're probably not gonna realize it, and they function just as well. The ones that were um, that are that are actually noticeable, they're not gonna sell you. So, I might order two of those and put those to use as well. These are great pouches. The material they're made of feels great. They look great. I just got this stuck on my wet wipe. Um, and they, I don't know, they're just cool. I like small pouches. They give you the ability to carry stuff. And I really dig this because it fully opens up like a book. So you can see exactly what you have. So if you haven't heard of Zero Feud, there's their logo right there. Definitely check them out. They have a lot of cool pouches going on. And around 20, I think I paid around 25 bucks for this. Right now with the blims, buy one, get one free at $25. It's hard to beat that. That is a killer price, especially for what pouches can go for. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I will be back with a new video soon. I will never ask you to like or subscribe. You do you. But I would appreciate it if you did both. Definitely comment below and let me know what you think about the pouches and how do you run yours. Because I haven't figured out how exactly I'm going to run this pouch permanently. I like what I showed you. I'm probably not going to carry it as a knife and band-aid pouch. I might actually make it a first aid kit, um, like a mini IFAC a boo boo kit. Not a, not really a first aid kit, but a boo boo kit. Uh, or uh, I don't know, trying to figure out how I'm going to run it and where I'm going to run it. It's probably going to live in a bag, but we will see. So uh, yeah, let me know if you have the cup or any Zero Feud pouch and what you think. And guys, I will be back with a video soon. Remember, EDC, EDC.